Do you read books? Very rarely. There are there are a few good ones that I you know like I've read and I've really enjoyed. I like audiobooks more. Uh, they keep my attention more than a, a book. So I, I don't know if it's ADHD or what it is, but I'll I'll be on a page and then I'll start thinking about something and I'll have to reread the page probably three to four times. It, it takes me I don't know four times longer I would say than the average person to actually get through a book. Um, so I just, if I'm in a car or I'm driving or doing something uh, from point A to point B, I can just listen to an audio book and it's really a, a better way for me. It's actually in the background, right? So you don't actually have to like actively listen to it at right. all times. Right. Uh, in terms of technical books, I mean, for cybersecurity books, do you have like a good recommendation for, um, for beginners in penetration testing specifically? So we are a little dated, I feel like, on the book side. Um, there's some, like, there's books out there that I haven't really read that are coming out, but I feel like they're all self-published. Um, so the, the, probably the most recent that I know of from, from No Starch, at least, which is like a prominent publisher, uh, would still be the Georgia Weidman Penetration Testing book. And she's working on a second volume or second yes. edition. So when that comes out, I think that'll be a must-buy for a lot of people because that was like a... Um, that was the book for us, at least for, you know, like 2017, 2016, when you're going through uh, and you're learning, that's the book to buy. Still is almost uh, for a lot of the beginner pen testing. Uh, there's some other books out there like the Hacker Playbook series that I feel like maybe is a little bit advanced for somebody just starting to break into the field. Um, but yeah, I, I, think, I think that volume and then when volume two comes out, I, I'm really excited to see where that goes and what, what it delivers. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Chris, I work in cybersecurity and uh, on this channel, I make a lot of videos on the topic. So if you're into that, subscribe and uh, ring the bell to get notified of all my new videos. And if you're looking for a job in cybersecurity and need one-on-one -on -one coaching or training, Check out the description of this video and uh, get in touch with me. Uh, I would like to add that in terms of books for beginners, when it comes to uh, bug bounty hunting in this case, or web app penetration testing, there's the classical 2011 web application hackers handbook by the feed stutter, which is the, the, the creator of birth feed, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and then there's the more recent one when it comes to bug bounty hunting, which is by Peter Jaworski, which yeah. is real world uh, bug bounty hunting. That's what's called. And it's a 2019 title, which is full of examples for different uh, vulnerabilities that you experience in web applications. Most of the web applications, um, as far as I can remember, it doesn't touch upon uh, mobile penetration testing. So these would be like beginner books. And uh, I would say that in terms of advanced, it's, it is the one that you've uh, touched upon, the Hacker Playbook, which is by, I think it's at its third edition from mm -hmm. 2018. Uh, it's by Peter Kim, Kim, I guess. And uh, there's also, if you want to combine penetration testing with Python, I think that there's, there's violent Python, but that would be a good one for more intermediate sort of like advanced people. The only downside to that, even, even violent Python, black hat Python, yeah. uh, those are all written in Python too, which, you know, just went, went end of life. So I'm, I'm really waiting to see somebody take advantage of doing one of those books, maybe even a re remake of it in Python 3. Um, and I think that would be good. It's always still useful. Like they're good books to pick up and practice and then maybe practice porting over from Python 2 to Python 3 to see that extra skill set. Um, they're, they're definitely, they're, they're classics, um, but they're, they're becoming, unfortunately, you know, technology moves so fast, they're becoming dated as they go. Fellas, check out my Python basics course to learn the fundamentals of Python you need in cybersecurity. There's a discount link in the description.